In Pro Engineer Wildfire 3.0, we have consolidated the user interface for the sheet metal cut and the solid cut. Previously, these two very similar functions were performed with different interfaces. Greater consistency makes the software even easier to use. In this example, we are designing a sheet metal bracket for the Bobcat passenger housing. As you can see, we have a rod that passes directly through the sheet metal part. By hiding this rod, we can see that we still have to create the hole for this to pass through. We will use this to illustrate the new sheet metal cut feature in Pro Engineer Wildfire 3.0. Taking a look at the bracket itself, you will see that we have used the rod geometry to create a sketch for the cut. Notice that even though the cut passes through the sheet metal components along the angle of the rod, Pro Engineer understands that this is a sheet metal cut and therefore creates a hole with straight sides. Manipulating this cut with the dynamic drag handle illustrates this further. Now navigating through the dashboard, you will see that there are various control mechanisms available to the user to control the shape of the cut. The dashboard presents the same standard option to the user whether he is creating a solid or sheet metal cut, allowing him the flexibility to switch on the fly. This significantly reduces the learning curve since the same user interface is used to create these two types of cuts. PTC is continually improving the usability of Pro Engineer by combining like functions, making it easier for the new user to become a Pro Engineer expert and improving the productivity of seasoned Pro Engineer users.